what are you doing, spider? Stop pushing me. Ow! Ow! A cactus! A cactus! No! No! Spider! Get off me! Stop pushing me! Hey guys, the Buddy Butter Turtle here. We're back with our first and first uh, mod showcase. Well, we we will be doing many. And if you guys clicked on this video, you guys already know what mod we're doing. We are doing the Dragon Riding mod. Now, this has been probably shown a lot. You guys probably are gonna click out by now and be like, okay, well I already know what this is. No, well you probably seen this has been updated. Now there are many more dragons, and it's a lot. A lot cooler, I think. Now, I'm missing something. Um, so, one thing you're going to need to do, though, is... Ugh, sorry, guys. Is, with this mod, there, obviously, you have to get the egg, which you can do... I finally noticed it took a while to figure this out. You could do, um, slash give your name, and then do one, two, two one and then you get um the uh ender dragon egg and with this ender dragon egg or you can just go to the end and fight off a freaking dragon for an hour <laughs> um what you gotta do is now a regular ender dragon egg now if, wherever this is placed um like here let me just do this it's called a yellow egg i don't know why if you place it um, anywhere, grass, whatever, oops, okay, well, if you place it anywhere, it will turn into an ender dragon, um, so I'm just going to place it over here on sand for a minute, because I'm going to show you guys something in a minute, um, so, or you could just place it on end and stone to make sure that you're getting an ender dragon because there's many different ways many different dragons you can get depending on how you have them placed so the first one I want to show you is like I'm just gonna show you guys how to get the different ones and then I'm gonna show you guys what they look like so to get the fire dragon you could put it around lava around the egg or you could do fire either one works and then you uh, le uh, right click sorry and it is movable after it is so don't be careful and don't push it into the lava or fire so you right click and then after a few days um, it should turn into a baby dragon uh, the ender that'll turn into a dra ender dragon baby ender dragon then we have the water dragon you could place snow or water around it to get the water dragon and then the water dragon should, well, yeah, will, um, <laughs> grow into a water dragon. Um, then if you come down here, you have the ghost, ghost dragon. Oops, and, okay. So you have the ghost dragon, which will turn into a ghost dragon, which has a really cool effect that I guess, that I'll show you guys in a minute when I get to there. So the first one, I just want to show you what it looks like is the fire dragon. Now what you can do is slash oops dragon mature whoop er, get rid of that fire there. And then whoop holy crap. So then these are the different ones. That was too close to fire, that's why it turned into a fire dragon. So you have the fire dragon which you can tame by using raw raw fish. I hit him, so I don't think he wants to be mine. No, no, he is mine. And then you could use a bone to sit them down and like and make them get up. Um. Then we have the regular Ender Dragon, which you tame with fish. Yeah. So you can't put a saddle on until you tame him. See how, and then you can also feed him because he's hurt. And you can lay him down, put down a saddle. Uh, the water dragon over there, which likes to run away. 
Alright, now he, he they will follow you and attack mobs for you if they attack you and so forth. Come down over here, come on. I know you like the water, but gotta come over here. Whoa! What the poop? Something just died over there. Then we have the water dragon. Um, hmm. I'm gonna bet you that that was the ether dragon. Oh, I didn't show you guys the ether dragon. Whoops. You have to put him, I think it's like 170 block, 170 blocks above level. Oh, I guess he didn't mature. And, um, then it'll turn into an ether dragon. Also, uh, that has to be, uh, the ghost dragon has to be like 30 blocks down, I think it is. 30, 40 blocks. And it'll turn into a ghost dragon. So let me show you, let me mature this one. Slash dragon mature. What? Oh! I didn't tap it, that's why. Sorry about that, guys. Slash dragon mature. Slash dragon mature. And... Huh? What? It should turn into an ether dragon. Maybe I didn't put it high enough, I guess. Let's give... One, two, two, one. There you go. So I didn't have it high enough. It's like 170 blocks above. Let's get him before he starts flying. This is probably the coolest one. It's uh, just for... It's an ether dragon. Now you might want to just sit in the sky. Sit in the sky. Come on. I'm kidding. Um, it is really, really cool. Um, we're going to take him and fly him down. He has a really nice little pattern on him, I think. Which makes him really cool. So, I'm just going to take you down here. I'm going to hop off. Oops. Hop off and make you sit. And so freaking annoying, you little fire dragon, aren't you? Um, I'm going to show you guys some other things after I show you the ghost dragon, which I think is the one that died. Oh, no. Now, if you can't see, has a really cool f effect where he glows in the dark, basically. I don't know if it's if you can notice it enough. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute what I mean. Urgh, I heard him. No, I don't think he's gonna be mine. Oh, nope, he's mine. So I think I'm pretty sure he will teleport to me when I get up here. Pretty sure they teleport to you. But meanwhile, oh, yep. Okay, so as you can see, sort of, he glows in the dark. Um, he has a really nice little look to him, and he has is the only one with, as you can see, that skull and crossbone thing. Only one with a custom looking um, uh, what's it called, a uh, saddle. And as you can see, he's glowing right now in the dark and kind of lights it up, which is really really nice. So I'm just going to lay him down. Yeah, so as they all have uh, sounds. Um, now, like, different sounds. Like, as you could see. Before, he had a bone sound. Okay. And different dying sounds, which I'll show you guys in, a, in just a few minutes. Also, um, let's just get these two guys. You can breed them. Give them one more fish, and then they'll breed make a little baby. Now this little baby tells you what it is. It tells you what it's going to be. See, now it's an ender dragon. Well, now it will be an ender dragon. Get it over here. Well, well, it's not working right now, but whatever. Um, and it automatically lays itself down. And so there you go. Um, it's really, really nice. 
because that, that you need two Ender Dragons basically. Um, also, if they get hurt, like, all right, he's getting hurt right now. They're both getting hurt. Lay him down real quick so they don't do anything. Uh, you can feed them raw fish, rotten flesh. Actually, you can't feed them rotten flesh. Um, you can feed them many things. I'm not sure what they all are, but fish is definitely your best choice to feed them. Um, it's really, really cool, though, I think. Here, get you. Get, hey, hey, hey. Get off my ether dragon there. Oops. Okay. Um. Now, so as I said, if you want the ether dragon, it has to be 170 blocks, I think, above. Um. Uh, 170 blocks. Here. Um. The ghost has to be, like, 30, 40 blocks on, uh, down. And now there's really cool things about this mod. Not only do you have flying dragons, but they're, they're your friends. So let's get a little... Ugh, let's get a zombie. Sorry about this, guys. Now, we use my ether dragon. And I'm on peaceful, yeah. Now let's sit you up, attack one of them. Watch. Now they all my all my dragons nearby will attack it, and if I get attacked, like slash slot, oh yeah. I always do gained. Oh, that's so annoying. Zero. Now if I get attacked, here come my dragons to the rescue. Get them. And it's really, really cool. My two favorite, though, are definitely the ether and the and the um, ghost, just because of the way they look. But they're also the harder ones to get. Um, it is a really cool mod, and I give it a thumbs up. It, it definitely has a thumbs up. Um. And I can say, yeah, I, I give it a thumbs up completely. It is a mod that I would use in, who knows, just <laughs> playing, you know. Um, I'm also going to be doing a Shirtoggle mod review, probably today. Um, because I think dragon mods are just really, really cool. And currently I'm making my own mod. Um, I am making my own mod currently, and it is going to be really, really nice, and I hope you guys would download it and enjoy it once I am finished it. Um, so, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys next time on my next mod showcase. See you guys later.